I think last year we had uh, 221 kids enrolled, that's K through 12. Um, we had 63, 64 in high school, 9 through 12. Uh, we had a pretty good sized junior high class, so I mean, we'll stay about at that level. We're Division I um, football, six man football. Two years ago was my first time meeting Trevor. My name's Trevor King. I'm a senior at Northside High School. I play running back a little lineman, D end, and kick extra points. I have star guards, macular degeneration, so I have no central vision. All I have is peripheral. Uh, I just don't see like anything in the middle, but I can see all around. We were uh, uh, coaching um, pitch machine uh, baseball, and uh, it was Trevor's turn to bat, and uh, we were down a couple runs or something, and I just kind of walked halfway up there to him, and I said, Trevor, we really need this, you know. And I uh, walked back, and I held the ball. I said, are you ready? And he wasn't even looking at me. He looked like he was looking at the uh, lights out in the outfield. And I said, hey, come on now. He said, just drop the ball. And when I dropped it, he hit it. And I got home that night and I told Karis that something's not right. The macula, the back part of his eye, um, is a small piece of the retina. And his eye does not filter the vitamin A um, properly, so that waste um, deteriorates the retina and causes, he has no central vision. He uses all of his peripheral vision to be able to see. That's why he looks side to side or might not appear like he's looking at you whenever, whenever he really is. That's why I can't do like a five step drop. I just have to take my one step back and then go straight ahead. Check out my distance and then take my one step back and kick it. Uh, football field wise, you know, you'll see him if he's playing defensive line that night, he'll turn his head to the side a little bit so he can see the ball. You know, sometimes he might get, you know, faked out easier on a misdirection play, but once he figures it out, he is full hustle to go get the ball. When he's running it, you know, maybe we don't toss him the ball on the sweep, we make sure we hand it to him, but he's going to run hard and he's going to run through tackles and if he gets a chance, if he can see you coming from the side, he's going to get a good stiff arm on you. And if he's in front of you, he may not know you're there and just run smooth over you. So, I mean, he's going to do a good job of playing. He's not going to try to let his visual impairment hold him back. He's just going to play football. He works hard. He never complains. He's smart. I mean, I'm, I'm very proud of him. Super proud of him. He could have given up. He didn't. He, that's, I don't think that's in his vocabulary. He's give up at all. Never used it for an mm -hmm. excuse. He just presses on and does everything you ask him to do and more. Mm -hmm. And so we're at a practice, and him and another kid are kicking, and neither one of them is putting it through the uprights. And I'm starting to get a little frustrated. And he basically just tips the ball, and it just kind of rolls in front of him. And I was like, get your head down. See the football. And not even thinking, just total reaction. And uh, he's like, I can't put my head down because then I definitely won't see the ball. And I was like, you're right, go back to kicking the way you did it. I've just always looked up to all the other guys that played and they've always said, oh, you'll be there one day, you'll be there one day. And then when this happened, I kind of didn't think I would be there, but they kept me going and told me don't let it slow me down, just keep going with it. It's just part of it. You just have to live through it and keep going. He gets upset if he misses a tackle. You know, or if he gets tackled quick when he's running a ball, or if he misses a block, he gets upset. You know, which you would expect out of anybody. But as far as just overall playing the game, he has as much fun out there as anybody. Nobody treats him any different. They they respect him, and you know he respects he respected our seniors. You know, all of them got along. They pretty much all grown up together out here, and so everybody knows. You know, they understand what Trevor can and can't do, and and you know they just treat him like one of the guys, which is the way it needs to be.